So I got curious, which combination of fuel and carrier makes the best fire paste? Fire paste is a mixture of a fuel with a powdery or granular substance that forms a paste or a slurry. You smear that on whatever you want to ignite, light the fire paste, and then that ignites the rest of your fuel. The first step is to compare how the substrates match up. And for this, I'm going to use lamp oil for a fuel mixed with wood ash, coal dust, charcoal dust, and fine sawdust. Now the substrates all have very different characteristics. Their density is different, the amount of liquid that they will absorb, or if they absorb any, is different. Uh, coal probably has virtually no absorption. It's all adhesion of the liquid to the outside of the particles. Sawdust seems to absorb a lot of the uh, oil. Each of the substrates will contribute a different amount of energy. They are going to have different energy densities. For this comparison, I'm going to hold the mass of the substrate consistent, 50 grams each of the wood ash, coal dust, charcoal dust, and fine sawdust. And then we'll just see how much fuel they will carry and then we'll compare how long 10 grams of each of those mixtures will burn. The ratio of the mass of the liquid to the mass of the carrier is quite different across those four substances. For wood ash, you have a ratio of 1 to 2 to make a slurry that was still usable and not just liquid. Coal was the opposite. I used 2 to 1 ratio of coal dust to oil. The coal was a ratio of 1 to 1. For the sawdust, I was at a ratio of about 3 to 1 when I stopped adding the oil. So here we have sawdust, wood ash, coal dust, and charcoal dust. Let's light them up and see how they do. Go! Hard to light the coal. The sawdust, interestingly, lit more easily than anything else. The sawdust is also burning more intensely than anything else that's up there. centimeters. Although the charcoal is not far behind, the wood ash and the charcoal are doing about the same. Charcoal dust is out at six minutes. At eight minutes, the sawdust is just barely burning. All right, eight minutes, 45 seconds, that's out. Some of the other factors to weigh in are how easy it may be to carry, uh, how easy is it to handle, how messy is it, how easy is it to make, how expensive is it to make. Well, the advantage that fire paste has super easy to make and most of the carrier materials are going to be materials that are just waste materials. You can carry it in a silicone travel bottle but it's going to get oily all over the outside. There's essentially no way to avoid it. For a true fire paste you'll want to use the wood ash. That powder makes a true paste. Fine sawdust it never really has that cohesion that turns it into a pasty substance, but it does seem to burn a little bit longer and a little bit better than the other materials, and still can be dished out as a clump. If you're interested in videos about fire cookies, you can check them out here.